hello world good morning good afternoon good evening welcome back to codingscientist.com guys we are on lesson number 43 in this lesson i am going to show you how to configure your jetbot camera into ROS. okay that's what we are going to do so basically the jetbot camera node we will publish a separate node in ROS to display the cameras which is going to stream live video on your terminal so wherever jetbot is moving is going to keep uh, transmitting the live video on your terminal itself okay so first what we need to do is we need to open a camera node so let me show you how to do that i am getting into my jetson nano screen and i have the raw score already been open running up and you know how to do that you have to open a terminal new terminal and type raw score r o s c o r e and leave the terminal untouched let it run let me open a new terminal how i am going to open a new terminal control shift t like this and we need to put this command here the command is going to be here I, in my manual you can see on my screen i am going to copy that and put that command so that's going to be ross run jetbot underscore ross jetbot underscore camera let's hope for the best there you go guys fantastic so we can see multiple frames so as you can see that you know in the terminal the video frames will be basically published to the jetbot underscore camera slash raw topic right so that is the sensor messages it's nothing but a sensor messages where you are gathering the image message from the bgr8 encoding so that's the explanation for that in order to test whether the camera feed is running or not we need to install uh, certain packages called image underscore view it's a python package and then subscribe to the jetbot underscore camera slash raw which is running on the terminal right now okay and then we have to open a new terminal again side by side while the ROS is running and execute the camera node once again to see the live feed so let me show you how to run that guys <clears throat> let this frame keep running let's open a new terminal Control shift t guys do not close these two terminal one terminal is running the raw score master and the other terminal is your frames being captured from the camera so let it run open a new terminal Control shift t now let me open up my manual and this is the package we got to install let me copy this sudo apt get install ross melodic image view okay paste it here sudo apt dash get install ross dash melodic dash image dash view let's hit enter and that's reading the packages which is a good news it's going to install everything all right it's asking yes or no obviously it's yes it's installing the package within few seconds it should be ready and we are going to fetch the live video from our jetbot and see in the terminal i'll show you in a second right now it's getting interesting guys just imagine what magic we can do in jetbot using the ai algorithms the deep learning stuffs and you know full-fledged autonomous all right this is done let me clear the screen clear and let's see let me open my manual now let me run the raw frame to fetch the videos okay please remember do not close the previous two terminals copy we got to copy the commands carefully should not miss anything out paste let's cross our fingers the moment of truth whether it's going to capture the camera feed or not hit enter i hope it captures I don't see anything coming up using transport raw initializing nodelet with four worker threads what's happening there is no error but 
I can see the transmission has been happening. Is there any hidden views somewhere? It acts weird. There, there you go. All right. I got it, guys. Can you see it here? Fantastic. So this is my jet board. I can, I'll show my cam, my hand in the front. Okay, it's upside down. So we got to modify the Python uh, code, which is fine, which is just a two minutes task. Let me, there you go. That's where I am sitting and recording this video. Though the camera is upside down, which is okay. We can modify the code. It's just a matter of adjusting the, there you go, guys. I think it's pretty perfect. We can enlarge the image size by just expanding this. Let's see what happens if we expand. I think it should be fine. All right. As far as we are getting the image feed, the live video transmission, we are good to go. We are really good to go. All right, guys. We are really good to go. All right. That's fantastic. This is working great, guys. No doubt about it. All right, folks. So that's it for this lesson. And I'm going to get back to you soon, uh, very soon in the next video. Goodbye.